clinical geneticist for Hunter Health and part of my role is seeing children and their parents and the parents have been searching for years for a diagnosis to explain why their child has intellectual disability. So despite testing all the known 1500 genes that cause intellectual disability, 70% of our patients remain undiagnosed and there's an estimated 2000 intellectual disability genes still to be discovered. As half of our patients have facial features which provide a clue to diagnosis, we developed FaceMatch, which is a computer vision technology which uh, is used to match the faces of children uh, who are undiagnosed, trying to facilitate early diagnosis and to discover new genes. So has Cicada Innovations helped FaceMatch? Well, FaceMatch is a project, and so it's a research project, and I think uh, Cicada Innovation has helped us look at why we're doing the research and making sure that we're actually doing the research to solve a problem that needs to be solved, but giving us an idea about how to have impact by looking at how do we take our solution into the community to have impact and make a difference. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the technologies that you've had to develop and overcome in the process of developing FaceMatch? Oh, there's lots, been lots of challenges. I suppose initially the, the main challenge has been an, um, financial, so getting some seed funding to start the project. But we were very fortunate to receive seed, seed funding from the Newcastle Permanent Charitable Foundation and for Hunter New England Health. And so we then moved on to developing an international website which allows parents and doctors around the world to upload photos of their patients who are undiagnosed for face matching. So our challenge at the moment really is community engagement, getting the message out there that this platform is available and, and making sure that people feel that it's safe to use so that they're our main challenges at the moment. What's in the future for FaceMatch? Well, I suppose the next stage after the research project is to be able to um, license, hopefully, this technology. To get it out there to make an impact, we will need to license it to hospitals and to doctors. But we need to be able to go through a very stringent process of ensuring that it has reaches the quality and regulatory requirements for software as a medical device. So that is quite a difficult pathway, which takes will take a number of years. I'm Dr. Tracy Duddingbyth, a clinical geneticist from Hunter Health. Part of my role is seeing parents who've spent years searching for a diagnosis to explain why their child has intellectual disability. 3% of children globally have intellectual disability. And although it's a common presentation, the majority of these conditions are one of thousands of individually rare single gene disorders. And making a diagnosis is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Advanced genomic sequencing now allows us to test all the 1,500 known intellectual disability genes in a single test. However, the rate-limiting step now is interpreting the vast amount of DNA data per test. And without an accurate clinical diagnosis, it takes one scientist eight hours to interpret one patient's test result. And despite testing the 1,500 known genes, 70% of my patients remain undiagnosed. There are an estimated 2,000 intellectual disability genes still to be discovered. As half of these patients have facial features which can provide a clue to diagnosis, we developed FaceMatch, a computer vision technology which outperforms senior clinical geneticists on syndrome diagnosis within our published pilot data. FaceMatch, like all artificial intelligence, has, has, reduces human error and has the ability to store, match and diagnose more conditions than an experienced clinician. It will be used to screen children who are late meeting their milestones, to enhance geno genomic testing and to facilitate the discovery of novel ID genes. Historically, new genes are discovered by comparing the DNA data from two or more people who look similar. But there's no international platform that allows for matching of faces in genomic data. And doctors continue to match faces manually to their colleagues at international meetings around the world. Our business model is based on marketing a license to hospitals nationally and internationally a professional license to paediatricians and possibly one day general practitioners and a one-off parent license working with their doctor. Our market advantage over our main and only competitor, face to gene is that we're sensitive. 
over a range of ages and severity. And we also collect accompanying DNA data for all our images. Our team includes expertise in computer vision, bioinformatics, medical genetics and genomics. Our vision is that FaceMatch will be the first tool that medical professionals use to fast track a diagnosis for intellectual disability, easing years of heartache and uncertainty for parents searching for a diagnosis. We're seeking $1.4 million for a phase two efficacy trial, which will ensure that FaceMatch reaches international and national quality and regulatory requirements for software as a medical device. I thank you for your time today, and I thank Ben and Sakata for this opportunity, which has been absolutely marvellous. Thank you. Thank you.